Good evening, and welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Deacon Mindy Bugai, and I'm so glad that you're joining me this evening. Before I begin, I just want to give a quick reminder that our Lenten conversations around the book Corpse, Chaos, and Christianity by John Polkinghorne will meet this evening at about 7.15. To find the link to that meeting, just go to our website, which is godamong.us, and go to ILC, Online Activities, and there you will find the Linton Conversations Zoom link. Please consider joining into these conversations, even if you haven't attended the previous sessions. You are more than welcome to join in. Additionally, at our website, you will be able to find a number of ways to join in fellowship and Bible studies, and of course, Sunday morning worship at 10 a.m. So please do use our website and um, keep in touch with the congregation as much as you can. Well, I was not a very good piano student, mainly because I didn't set aside time to practice. It wasn't that I couldn't have learned, but I didn't have a priority of practicing. And so without that practice, I never really learned how to play the piano. Practice is required for most any skill. One doesn't become a master seamstress without having to rip out a few poorly sewn seams. One doesn't become a great cook without burning some food along the way. We learn as we practice and we grow. There are areas of our spiritual lives that need to be kept in practice so that we become better at them and grow with them. Prayer is one of those practices. Prayer is an important practice because it isn't just you practicing it. God has a part in that practice, too. There may be times when we are struggling to feel God present in our day and the direction that God is leading us. But prayer can help to settle us into conversation and reflection that may reveal more about God than we would otherwise sense. One technique originated over 400 years ago from St. Ignatius Loyola is called the prayer examine. Some of our high school group are currently putting it into practice during this Lenten season. There are some variations to the steps that we that have evolved over the years or maybe some steps were specifically designed for specific settings. But the one that we're using in the high school class uses the following steps. First, is desire to become aware of God's presence. Find a quiet place without distractions. Get comfortable, relax, breathe and ask God to be present to you. Step number two is to reflect on the things in your day that bring you gratitude. Consider even the small things that you are thankful for, gestures or experiences or people in your life. Step three is to name the emotions that were present in your day and the events that caused them? What were the anxious or stressful or joyful times? And then consider what God might be trying to tell you through those times. Step four is to forgive and ask for forgiveness. Who are you angry with or frustrated by lately? What are you holding on to that needs to be let go of? How might you ask God to help you? And step five, since each day holds new opportunities for growth and change, ask God to be with you, guiding your heart and mind as you look to a different and better tomorrow with hope. So at the end of your day, Set aside five or 10 minutes to reflect on what connects us with God and what disconnects us from God each day. 
Ignatius believed that God speaks to us through our comforts and our miseries. And this time of reflection addresses both of those. Even our prayer lives can benefit from practice. Adopting new styles of prayer or variations to common prayers can help us to sense the Holy Spirit's activity in our lives. Our faith will benefit from continued practice so that we might be able to hear God's guidance in our lives just a little bit more clearly. Scripture says this about prayer, and I'm going to share with you a few passages. Very familiar to us is 1 Thessalonians 5.17, Pray without ceasing. Mark 11.24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And Psalm 55, verse 22 says, Cast your burdens on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. And Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call to me, and I will answer you. I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Taking time in prayer can reveal to us hidden things that we have not known. I believe these can be things about our lives, our role as Jesus followers, our fears and challenges. And if we don't take the time in prayer, well, then we're missing our connection with God. Prayer is one of the practices that we use during Lent to help us focus on Jesus. May each of you find a prayerful practice that helps you to feel God's presence in your lives each day in Lent and all through the year. Let's pray the prayer Jesus taught us, but tonight I want to pray it using the more contemporary version. The words are a bit different and might just cause us to reflect differently on what it is we are praying. So let's pray together now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you again for joining me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your evening and God bless.